No, I'm gonna need you only. Well, in the last video, we were talking about uh, how we moved uh, from the temporary storage to the Big Ben Stadium. Uh, we moved over 40, 50 cars, and um, that was two days of moving stuff. And this was the third move, which was from this showroom here. Um, and the overflow. And the overflow, which were both stuffed with cars um, to the big stadium. Uh, you see us over here, we're just moving cars out, uh, clearing up the floor so we can actually be able to move around like we are right now. Basically, we were pulling out uh, the 6500GE, uh, uh, one of 12 60 AMG single overhead cam uh, G-Wagons, and he was waiting out there. And while he was waiting, the G-Wagon actually broke down on the way out. A starter motor or something broke down. And, you know, that's where we're at. Yeah, I see the fuel tank. You see the outlet of the fuel tank? The symptoms that you have are either consistent with like a weak fuel pump reel if it's losing voltage and not turning on the cold start mechanism. Yeah. Uh, one of the cars getting moved out was the S72, which Daniel was driving, which uh, actually overheated. Yeah, I made uh, the mistake of turning it on and leaving in the, in the Florida sun. Car broke down, he was waiting, kept waiting, then that one overheated. It's like a domino effect of, of fuck ups, but what happens is, you know, you buy 200 rare used Benzes, people are scared to buy one used Benz because they know the nightmares that come with it. So imagine we did our own disservice and bought all these cars, but you know, we're up for the challenge. That's, that's just what it is. It got super hot. It was like 120C and I was like, holy shit. Yeah, it was really high. It was really hot. It got really hot. I think it pegged the uh, temp gauge. So we pulled over and now it's not even cranking. The throttle body is activated. It got really hot and then it activated something else. Like it's, it won't let it drive because it's too hot. Mm -hmm. That's what I think it is. Yeah, they're bad. They're really bad. Because <laughs> it's, it's told you it's too hot. Yeah. Hey, Pierre. Yeah. It just cranked, so we're going to try and get it to the shop. The starter must have overheated. All right, let's get there before it overheats. So we moved the cars out of uh, the showroom. Uh, we did it all fairly quickly. I mean, compared to what we were doing the, day, the days before that, moving like 40 cars, it was just like maybe easy. 12 cars or 10 cars. So we did that pretty easy. Got it over with. But essentially, you know, um, got it all done and in the nick of time. And we were happy to have our big stadium now filling up slowly but surely. But now we're at the point, it's, um, uh, we're in March, 2022. And it's looking like we've already outgrown the stadium. So now we're looking for another stadium. I don't know what's going on anymore, guys. This showroom itself gets filled up and emptied way more often because everything arrives here. We assess things, we wash them, we get we basic get mechanical them. issues yeah. we address in the in our mechanical base. over here we just bought three four cars today it's a very very rare rare amg specification cars the 500e 60 sedan s class c140 wide body s72 motor in it cherry on the cake is is the evo 2. now we have our every basic version of a 190 that you can think of amg 190 brabus 190e schultz grecky 190e koenig special 190e snowback 190e evo 1 koenig and now we have an evo 2. but all these cars we'll just leave for another video we don't want to make it too crazy for you guys right now so just stay tuned keep watching the channel and keep watching the madness as we go crazy and buy every Benz in the world <laughs>